Mayor Cook and Tricia Akers, Hamilton County Youth Assistance Program Director here with us today. Uh, we do want to begin with some tragic news and longtime Westfield Youth Assistance Program early intervention advocate Christine Brown died while she was on a family vacation in Europe this month. And Mayor, what impact did Christine make? Oh, Chris, I hardly know where to begin. And Tricia, uh, you know, she was uh, a very unusual lady. And, and I say that because this was a very unusual undertaking. Uh, you know, we're, we're tired of uh, treating troubled youth. Could we possibly prevent kids from getting in trouble? And the key word is prevention. Uh, nobody's doing that all across the country. Uh, very few people are engaged in a program like this. And you have to understand how complicated this endeavor was, especially in the, in, the, in the very beginning, that it can't be done, et cetera. And I'll jump way ahead and say that how well it actually works in that uh, this program that Christine was so involved in has, has not totally eliminated problems with our youth, but has cut the number of youth entering the legal system here in Hamilton County in half. Trisha, what impact did she have on children? Oh, Christine was the light of these kids' life. She loved her family. She loved her boys. She loved her job. She loved her mom. And when I think about the impact that she has had to the kids in Westfield, knowing she was the first person to take the leap of faith and join our staff of two <laughs> at the time and just dive in and support these kids, she would put them above all. You know, I... I wanted to say that prior to her vacation, Christine planned to join us today. This was uh, set up in advance with her and uh, to talk about the Yellow Tide Gala, which is your biggest fundraiser of the year. And I'm certain that she would want us to stay true to our wishes. And so Tricia, how does this benefit youth in, uh, in Hamilton County and in Westfield? This gala was her love. And she worked so hard to put it together, knowing that all that she did and all that her committee and the board president and all the board members worked so hard, but the end result was that it put kids in camp and it put kids who needed some mental health treatment in treatment and it puts kids to have school supplies, anything that they need, all the hard work came from the money that we generated from this gala and the tremendous support that our community gives us is honoring Christine now because she put her heart and soul into it and now we can put our heart and soul into honoring her to help more kids. And as long as I live and I'm in this position, I will honor her for all the days of my life, and her legacy will live on, Mayor, here in Westfield. You know, Mayor, you started this um, gala back in 2010, and you I said it was. 12 years ago, and so, you know, you obviously, those many years ago, saw a real need for services for children here. Yeah, we did, and it was, uh, as I said, it's it was very difficult to to kick off. It was difficult for people to admit that, hey, we've got a problem. Uh, Hamilton County, Westfield, Indiana, do, our kids don't have problems. Well, thousands of children later, uh, we've had a lot of success. But as far as this fundraising, and this is a key point that I want to I bring out, part of what we're also trying to show is that there is very little government money in this program. And by far and away, most of our funds uh, come from our citizens. I do want to say that you can learn more 
um, about this gala. Um, you can buy tickets, you can make a donation by going to westfieldyellowtiegala.com. Mayor Cook and Tricia Akers, thank you so much. We are remembering Christine Brown and the positive and lasting impact she made on the lives of thousands of children. Absolutely, we're gonna keep going even stronger than before in Christine's name. Absolutely. Thank you both. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.